Hello beautiful Gemini. I hope you're doing amazing, especially at this beginning of the year. This is your reading for January, excuse me. Whew. This is your reading for January 7th um, through 13th. So let's begin, focus on the cards. Spirit, Guardian Angel, Divine Energy, Universal Energy. What do you have for Gemini for January 7th through 13th? What would you like for them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? Please only allow truth, honesty, and love um, and acceptance here. As above, so below. Okay, Gemini, let's see what we got today. Your wishes are colliding with what is going on with with truth almost, okay? There's a need for you to express yourself or express yourself differently here. This week you are going to learn patience. And try to remain uh, transparent, I guess. Okay. So, Gemini, you're trapped in your own thoughts and your own beliefs right now. Problem is, equal give and take is the issue here. Okay. Um, equal give and take and balance is a problem. Um, you may be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but there is also some frustration because there's not equal give and take, okay? So that's something to be aware of this week. So I feel like you're attracting your own thoughts or your own way of thinking, okay? And it looks like your partner is trying to get you to end that. Yeah, you just want to win. You want to win, okay? Um, and you feel like your way is the best way to get um, a proper or a better start, okay? Um, you're feeling the need to leave the old behind or the old way of doing things, okay? The chariot is in reverse because your direction is not the right way. Even though you feel like it is for some reason, it's not. And that's what the cards are saying. So, your partner wants it to end. It feels like a lot of work on them, okay, dealing with this. Um, yeah. They want to be in a relationship and they care about you, but there's an issue with feeling like they're not important or feeling like they're second to you or what you think, okay? Um, and really this comes from you just trying to have contentment or have things go the way you feel is the right way. It's time for you to revisit your emotions or revisit that idea of what you think is 100% correct. Okay? Yeah, there's too much. Uh, you're moving too much towards what you want. And there's a problem with balance here and inconsistency. Okay? And it's that's what's really causing the lack of fulfillment because um, I, I feel like the person that you're dealing with are not going to... Um, change who they are, what they want to do, just to uh, appease y y what you want. So, moving forward, there is a lack of cooperation um, with what it is that you want, okay? Okay. And you want to let that conflict go. You don't want this separation with your partner or with this situation. So you're going to have to learn to um, deal with those feelings. What's interesting is you have the sun in reverse and it talks about um, being disoriented. You know, like now you're confused on your direction. But you still want to put in the effort. You still want to make that balance. Your partner feels a bit confused. Um, and they have their own things to deal with. Um, 
I feel like they're trying to figure out how to deal with you or what to do. But they definitely want to keep things together and they know that they want to keep going. They want to start anew. They want to start with new energy and new direction and they're really excited about doing that, okay? Your partner is confident. Confident. This is a time to understand that that's what you like about your partner, okay? Even though you may feel like you're right and you want them to follow you, they are confident and that's what you like about them, okay? You have to learn how to work with both of your <laughs> confidences, okay, in order to make it work together and not get distracted by or upset you know because they won't follow you or because you can't find that balance okay it's all about working it out it's all about working it out taking your time slow and steady progress is still movement forward so um, the advice is learning how to communicate correctly okay there is hope here and you know that there is okay um, don't be revengeful you know don't get upset don't try to retaliate because you feel like they're not listening um, this is a good time to cease that you don't want to break down the foundations that you're currently building with your partner the will of fortune comes up because this is just something that needs to happen in order for you to learn that patience and trust and faith that i was talking about earlier your partner would love to move on from this and I feel like they are um, very open to accepting what is happening okay um, they just don't want any foolish risks okay and they're gonna be patient and slow about what's going on but they are moving forward okay it could be that they lose a job or some money or something like that by making a foolish decision but you kinda have to let them fail okay <laughs> in order to see um, what they need to resolve on their own so moving forward this week you're learning how to take more of a passive approach and that's why the the page of wands is here because once they see that they'll take a more passive approach understand that you were trying to be supportive from them for them even though they have to take a sort of um, step back and uh, figure out things on their own which is not ideal for you okay um, but you don't want to hold on too tight you know you have to let them learn how to be independent and you have to learn how to <laughs> not let them stress you out pretty much okay so let's see what additional guidance we have for you this week Gemini acceptance I am learning to accept the things I cannot change see you can't change your partner you can't change their their issues and their problems they have to learn on their own you know you're two individuals even though you have good intentions you know you have to let them be flirt Okay? Keep that lightheartedness in your relationship, Gemini. Even though you feel like you need to be the, the law or the voice of reason, you know. Reconciliation. I don't feel like the issue is going to be resolved. I don't feel like you're going to split up. If you do, it's probably like an argument and then you're going to get back together. But this is more about um, letting them resolve it on their own, even though you know you don't want to be in that situation let your friends help you if you need someone to talk to or discuss things with this is a good time to talk to friends or family or people that support you okay um, and it'll help you build your confidence it'll help you become uh, stronger within yourself it's not that you're not strong here but you may just need someone to talk to 
other thing the other thing I'm hearing too is I feel like you're trying to be supportive of your partner but they see it as nagging and they will try to push in the other direction which will cause a little rift and it'll cause them to do stupid things you know just to feel like they have some sort of independence okay so thank you so much for listening Gemini and I will see you next week I love you very much see you again for more self-discovery bye-bye